In Fantasy Star Online 2, unlike other MMORPGs, you actually get to play two classes at once. The second class you choose is known as your subclass, and grants several benefits depending on the class you choose. Your subclass can be any class you want, although some classes work together better than others. When you equip a subclass, you gain access to that class's skill tree, and 20% of its power is added to yours. Subclasses earn 10% of the experience points your main class earns while equipped. If your subclass is a high enough level, however, it will stop gaining experience unless you equip it as your main class. Currently, if a class is level 70, it will not earn any experience. Additionally, while you have access to the skill tree of your chosen subclass, not all of its abilities are available to you. Certain skills in each tree are marked main class only in their description. As you might guess, this means that ability only works if the class is equipped as your main class. Equipping a subclass is not something you can do right away. It's an option that is unlocked fairly early in the game. Once you reach level 20 with any class, you can accept a client order from Coffee in the gate area that will unlock the ability to equip a subclass once completed. Let's take a look at what each class offers as a subclass. Hunter is a very popular subclass, and is versatile enough that you could almost use it as a subclass for everything else in the game. With offensive abilities like Fury Stance to increase melee and ranged damage, and defensive abilities like Iron Will and Automate Halfline, Hunter can serve as the backbone of nearly any good build. While powerful, the Fighter doesn't offer much other than a conditional boost to melee DPS. This is great for classes that focus on up-close and personal attacks. For range classes, you may want to stick with Hunter. The Ranger is an excellent subclass for players who prefer long distance. They can give a huge boost to damage dealt to weak points, helping you make every shot count. While Gunner is a fun class to play, it isn't very useful as a subclass. Its best abilities are main class only, and it relies very heavily on using twin machine guns as a weapon, offering almost no benefit when they aren't equipped. Even with their magical might, Force is also not a very good subclass. While equipped as a subclass, it does allow your main class to use techniques, but doesn't offer any other solid benefits. Like the Force, Tector doesn't offer much as a subclass to a non-caster. Other than allowing you to use techs, Tector's best abilities are main class only, making it a poor choice as a subclass for anything except Force. Braver has very little to offer as a subclass due to its best skills being weapon specific. Its two stance abilities can grant some conditional damage boosts, but they are more complicated and less powerful than the conditional boosts offered by Fighter, so this isn't a great idea. Similar to Braver, a lot of Bouncer's abilities are weapon specific, making the Bouncer a poor choice of subclass. It does grant access to techniques, however. Summoner's skills primarily rely on the use of pets, which are not available as a subclass. It does, however, grant the use of techs, and has a high number of stat-boosting abilities in its tree, making it a good option for classes that can use techs if you so choose.